so next what happened now comes the naskhi script naskhi script so earlier all that time which script were we talking about the kufi script it's called the kufi script that the one that you saw here these are all kufi scripts this one is naskhi this one is kufi that one is naskhi what we have today is uh naskhi script what in in the shelf that we have most common that is printed like this one right this one that you have here it's it's common one this a naskhi script here all uh, usually this is mostly used by the uh, the arab uh, in the arab uh, uh, countries uh, so this that's the most common to the kind of became a standard because it's printed so much so that is uh, again there's no more kufi script anymore nobody reads it and uh why did this replacement happen uh, because this this kind of script is much better because if you notice kufi scripts were like very uh, like angular and straight and now this naskhi script like it has like curves and you know it looks more beautiful so th- that that evolution happens you know the, the different font basically but the letters are kind of the same so even if you open microsoft word you select different fonts right Uh, it's just a way of writing but nothing else nothing else changed in the most of the letter for letter again is preserved so his name was ibn muqla who introduced this uh, script around this happened much later 320 hijra 320 hijra and um a lot of other scripts also started to come like in 7th century this another one called khat uh, an-nastaliq that came into picture as well i have some snapshots here about the different kinds of scripts these are the famous ones kufi naskhi khat an-nastaliq farsi maghribi and braille what is this braille it's for the blind people can you imagine we have quran for the blind people as well we'll see how it looks Uh, let's see farsi farsi this is the script that is used by the indian subcontinent we have it right all 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 this on the top it's a little bit different so let's see what the difference is naskhi and farsi script so this one is used most uh, mostly in the indian subcontinent and this one came in this one is mostly used everywhere basically it's kind of standard now So th- this is the one that is printed in mostly in in, in Medina printing complex and also in Egypt. So that's the most standard one. So if if you actually notice in the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, uh, in the time of uh, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Uthman radhiyallahu anhu both the scripts were not there. Actually the script that was there was what? Kufi script. Now this one is kind of a more standard, more more widespread. and more uh, uh, more more people read it and this one is also approved by wh- whoever scholars are living in that part of the world uh, so what is the difference same thing same arabic it's a style of writing you know like oh, you see the, the 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 sword and and everything you, don't you notice the difference it's like yeah it's a different form you know times new roman and verdana for example the different form so the rules might be a little different how how much it should curve how much it should go below the line and so on but first very first letter mm-hmm. they have a leaf as yeah kasra and they have a hamza there right yeah so that so kind of, so this hamza is also an addition it wasn't there in the original musaf it's so it's making it doesn't make difference to the meaning at all it's just an addition for example if you look uh, this this mark right you have the uh, sale here basically telling you it's better not to stop here but uh, in 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 this one you have some other mark maybe uh, where is it or dal or something so every uh, so different people came up with different ideas so let's see another one you you, you know about this script this is called the maghribi script and i mean people who know, who who can read the naskhi can kind of read farsi script and farsi people can also read the naskhi script but this one is very difficult don't even try to do that <laughs> because uh, if you notice what is this i i yeah i put for comparison fi qulubihim surah al baqarah yeah this very famous one it's actually it's worse it's worse worse script but the writing here is maghribi script but the letter here if you notice fa it looks like fa right but this is actually qaf so and and for fa they write 
the fire has underneath. That's correct. So, if you try to read Quran, this one, it, it's it, this can change meaning. So, very careful. Be careful. So, you should know. I mean, I just showed you one letter. There might be more differences as well. So, this one is very common when people who live in like uh, northwestern Africa, maybe Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, that, the, all those places, that they they use it very common, and it's it's also uh, else also. Um, they they have something called the uh, uh, we 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 read the hafs hafs recitation right and they use verse recitation it's a little bit different I, I have some session planned for it inshallah probably one session or two session later what's the difference between the two and uh, actually there are some differences uh, we will talk about but uh, most common that all that all we have here whether it's Farsi or Nasrani all of us follow hafs recitation so uh, this is like probably two percent very few let's look another one subhanallah this one it's really amazing the 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 braille uh, script it says for the blind people they have a way of recognizing what letter it is based on some series of dots maybe like three dots and followed by two dots and then one dot means seen something like that so they go to maybe school or something, they get trained and they can read Quran so fast, just like the putting hands on this and they can read Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, very fast. So um, that's not just common with Arabic, it's uh, for all languages they have it. So uh, actually the uh, Ministry of Religious Affairs in Saudi Arabia, they publish three volume of this kind of script so, and, and they distribute it. And this is Arabic. Arabic has a special braille recognition. So it's not like one uh, universal braille script. So uh, they have Arabic braille. So Saud and uh, Va, for example, all these letters, they have uh, a fixed dots for it. So that is used very common. But uh, earlier we said that if it is, if we write Quran like in Latin script, like in, in, in English letters, right? That, that is not called Quran, right? A L H A N, Alhamdulillah, how you write it. So that doesn't get the same ruling as Quran. Uh, so, uh, but this particular one, probably, even though it's not Arabic letter, but they have each and every letter assigned some, some kind of, uh, you know, recognition. Some, uh, you know, like people know this is Saud. This is not S, this is Saud. They don't know it. <coughs> So the, this is kind of a script. Many, very few people use it, but still, this is Quran. What he's reading is Quran. 